Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today, we have 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c equal to 1 and we need to find our, our abc when abc are positive integers. How can we find it? Of course, let's try to simplify it step by step. First of all, I want to find a common denominator, because if we find a common denominator, we will simplify this a little bit. But firstly, let's suppose, let's suppose that a is less than b or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c. So let's suppose it. And next step, let's find our common denominator. We'll have a, b, c right here. We'll have a, b, c as a common denominator. And in our denominator, we'll have b, c plus a, c and plus a, b. We'll have in our denominator equal to, equal to 1. Okay, we just find our, our common denominator. The next step, what we're going to do, let's cross multiply these both parts. If we use a cross multiplying, we will have that our BC plus AB plus AC over 1, we don't need to write it, equal to ABC. So we just cross multiply our both parts. And what we're going to do next? First of all, I want to mention one really interesting moment. Let's suppose that a is less than b and b is less than c or equal to c. So I want to write it right here, this inequality. a is less than or equal to b, b is less than or equal to c. And I want to write two interesting moments right here. We have ac and we have ab. I want to write these two elements right here. If we have bc right here and if we have bc in this moment. So we have b and b and we have c and c right here but right here c is greater than b so we can easily put this sign in this way yes greater or equal and in this way we have we compare a and c c is greater than a and we, if we multiply by the same constant we will have the same sign so the next step first of all we have that a b c equal to these elements let's write it let's write these elements we have b c bc plus ab plus ac equal to oh i want to write these elements let's change ab as bc bc let's change ac as bc as well plus bc and we have the same bc so plus bc and if we look closely to this this is greater than this one on the left because with these two inequalities these elements both will be greater than this element on the left hand side and if we add this, we'll have 3bc, and right here we'll have bc plus ab plus ac, which is equal to abc. So abc is greater, is less than or equal to 3bc. If we cancel bc, we will have that our a is less than or equal to 3. Okay, we find that our a is less than or equal to 3. And how many variants we will have? because we have less than, it's really good, because we will find our rare options right here. We will have first one, one, two, and three. We will have only, only three, three options. We don't have zero, we don't have four. So we need to work with these three options. Let's start with the first one. Let's suppose, let's suppose that A is equal to one. If a is equal to 1, we plug in this in, every, in any of this equation. I plug in this in, in this one or in this one. Let's in this one plug in. We will have bc plus ac plus ab equal to abc. And we suppose in that a equal to 1. What equation we will have? We will have right here bc plus c plus b equal to bc equal to bc okay bc and bc we can easily cancel so we will have that b plus c equal to zero which is not not possible because our bc are positive integers so positive integers so right here no solutions because we wrote it as abc are positive integers okay let's go further let's suppose Let's suppose that a equal to 2. If a equal to 2, what equation we will have? We will have the next one. We will have bc 
plus 2c plus 2b equal to 2bbc. We just plug in this in this equation. Right here we have equation, we plug in this. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. What we will have? Let's bring in this on the right hand side. We will have the 2c plus 2b equal to bc. BC. Okay, and let's let's solve this. Let's solve this interesting interesting problem. Let's bring these all elements on the on the left hand side. What we'll have? We'll have 2c plus 2b minus bc equal to equal to zero. And right now I want to show you a really good moment because we can easily group these elements 2c and bc. And let's let's do this. And I want to factor it. We'll have c times b minus 2 and I want to write is at 4 on both side. If I add 4 on both side I will have minus 2b minus 2b and plus 4 equal to 0 plus 4. I add 4 on both side. And if you look closely we can easily factor from here 2. And let's do this. Let's factor 2 from here. We will have c times b minus 2 minus 2 times b minus 2 equal to equal to 4 and finally we can factor this b minus 2 as a common so we have b minus 2 b minus 2 and in second parentheses c minus 2 equal to 4 how many combinations we will have we will have right here we will have 1 times 4 we will have 2 times 2, the next one minus 1 times minus 4 and minus 4 times minus 1. But we are talking about positive integers and moreover this element will be greater than 2 and this element will be greater than 2. So we can easily suppose that right here we reject these negative values, these negative roots we reject. So what system we will have? We will have b minus 2 equal to 1 and c minus 2 equal to equal to 4. This is the first system and the second system b minus 2 equal to 2 and c minus 2 equal to 2. We just go through these two options. And if we find our, our answer from here this system will give us b equal to 3, c equal to 6 and right here we will have b equal to 4 and c equal to Four. So right here we find finally our A, B, C. A, B, C. We find our, our answer. So the first pair will be 2, 3, 6 and the second pair 2, 4, 4. So we find our two pairs. Okay, let's go further because this is our A equal to 2. We need to check A equal to 3. We need to check it. We need to find our, our answer. So firstly, Let's plug in a equal to 3 right here. What equation we will have? We will have bc plus 3c plus 3b equal to 3bc. And of course we can simplify this a little bit, bring the bc with this bc on the, on the right hand side. We will have this 3c plus 3b equal to 2bc. Okay, I hope you understand this step. But how can we solve this? Let's add one really interesting, one really interesting trick right here. Let's bring this on the on the left hand side, or bring this on the right hand side. Doesn't matter. We will have two bc minus three b minus three c equal to zero, and I want to add on both sides. Let's add four point five. If we add on on both sides four point five, and from here we factor in. From here we will factor b in parentheses. We will have two c minus 3 and I add 4.5 just to factor from here 1.5 because we will have minus 3c plus 4.5 equal to 4.5. I just add on both sides 4.5. But right here I can easily factor in. Take a look b in parentheses 2c minus 3 and right here I factor it minus 1.5 and in parentheses 2c minus 3 equal to 4.5. Okay, I hope you I hope you understand this step. Next, we can easily factor it. Take a look 2c minus 3 and in second parentheses 
2b minus 3 I can write I can multiply on both sides to b minus 3 equal to 9 okay finally we factor this this element okay what are we going to do next how can we make how many combinations we will have we will have the first one 1 and 9 and the second one 3 and 3 so two combinations we will have the first system we have 2b minus minus 3 equal to 1 from here to b equal to 4 b equal to 2 and we have the 2c minus 3 equal to 9 1 and 9 we check it 2c equal to 12 and c equal to equal to 6 and right here with this 3 we have 2b minus 3 equal to 3 and 2b equal to 6 b equal to b equal to 3 and to the last one we have the 2c minus 3 equal to 3 2c equal to 6 and c equal to 3 so we finally find our our pairs and let's write an answer right here we have answer we have answer first let's start with with all pairs we have a b and c let's start because we suppose then that a is less than b and b is less than c so we need to to write our all solutions first pair 2 3 6 second pair 2 6 3 and the last one in this row will have 3 2 6 or i can add one more pair 6 2 3 we need to find all combination the next row will have 3 6 2 we will have 6 3 2 we will have 2 4 4 and 4 2 4 and the last two pairs we will have 4 4 2 and the last one 3 3 3 if this is option 3 3 and a equal to a, a equal to 3 complicated problem hard problem but i i, I think you understand this if you don't understand write a question and comment it's not like an easy one but i try to help everyone with this interesting question for those who like not in a not understand it fully try to pause the video and look at this in the, at this solution i try to to answer to this problem clearly for you and try to find the best solution for you thank you so much for watching subscribing i really appreciate it and see you in the next videos have a great day.